Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please take a moment of silence to reflect upon your day ahead. Good citizens of Meade, hello. My name, as you know, is Detective Cochis, and this is Officer Spackler. More about him in a bit. Together, we are the Meade Fuzz, here to serve and protect, or in Spackler's case, serve himself some way too many potato chips with beef jerky dip and protect his chips and dip against any would-be chip and dip thieves. Our goal is simple. Chase down, snuff out bad things. What's bad, you say? Well, let me give you an example. The other day, Detective Cochise couldn't stop talking about Lucky Don Cheek or Luna Dancing or Luke Don Seek, some basketball Luca, player. Dr. I don't know who he's talking about. He kept saying that the Lucky Don Cheek, Luka Don Cheek was the GOAT and is far superior to the greatest of all GOATs, LeBron James. <laughs> Coaches, <laughs> I have a search and seizure <laughs> order in my squad car issued by He's Mr. Bautista to take possession of your wrong opinion. Everybody knows Bautista is about LeBron. Not only is Lucky not the GOAT, but he will never be the GOAT because the GOAT will always and forever be MJ, his airness, the chosen. Let me say this again. Loud enough so that Mr. Shook can hear this. <laughs> Michael Jordan is the greatest human being to ever live on God's green earth. No one compares. So, Coaches, your opinion about Luna dancing is denied. Don Chick loves chips and dip. Uh, since Spackler also is a team Donchick, by the way. Don't let him fool you. What else is the GOAT? Well, we hired a new captain down at the precinct to keep the boys in line. New oh, captain. He has already endeared himself to the department by getting us all extra large bear claws and coffee on his first day on the job. This is Captain K, and we welcome him to the meat fuzz. Captain K. I think this is not you. Let's see. <laughs> nope. I'll tell you what else is good. Yep. This group of graduating Mustangs, much like LeBron James, they could be the GOAT of all graduating classes. 103 sports championships, the best spring map data in the history of map data, IAR scores that make you blush, and a respect for this fine institution that we all call Mead that we haven't seen in years. So congratulations, graduating class of 2024. Captain K, by the way, who's got better hair, me or Captain K? They go to the same barber, if you couldn't tell. Or, Mr. or, or, or baby Spackler. Mm. Captain K, what do you got? Uh, in three, two, one, blast off. The Mead STEM 2 classes will be doing their final launches of water rockets today outside near the south soccer fields. All staff and science classes are invited to attend for the school half, half of class for periods 2, 3, 7, and 9. Check out this video made by some STEM, STEM seekers. Hey scientists and STEM seekers, welcome to Rocket Academy. These water propelled rockets are a great way to learn about Newton's laws and the scientific method. In STEM class, we did multiple experiments using variables such as the amount of water and the pressure made sure to only change one variable so that we could accurately collect data when changing an independent factor. We are also following the scientific method and are planning to use this data to design and test awesome rockets. This is the STEM 2 class saying fly high this summer and peace out.
Those rocketeers possibly look like they're going to break in some noise, or noise ordinances here at Elk Grove Village. Um, uh, we will we'll be talking to each and every one of them. By the way, that reminded me when Officer Spackler put a banana in my tailpipe once, and I turned on my uh, Chevy Nova, and the whole thing exploded back. It was not okay. He's laughing now. I had to clean up the mess. It was disgusting. <laughs> All right, soccer intramurals will kick it around for the final couple of times this season, today and tomorrow. Also, track athletes, please turn in your uniforms. They are not yours. Search and seizure will come for those uniforms. You don't turn them in. Couple other goodbyes. Today we're going to be celebrating Mrs. Reddington, Mrs. Hoppish, who are retiring, and the st uh, staff down the station are getting together, having some bear claws and coffee with them afterwards. Congratulations to them. Their last couple of days of school are coming up. And to Miss Vogt, our assistant principal, her last couple of days of meet are coming up as well. We will miss you dearly, and goodbye to you too. That is it. We're signing off for the year. It's summertime for the, over in the department. I'm heading up to my lake house. I'm going to enjoy some uh, exploding uh, science seeker um, uh, water bottles. What are you doing, Officer Spack? Anything fun? I'm going to be uh, watching basketball. Apparently, I need to brush up on who the goat is. That's Got that's what cheap. I've learned here. What about you, Captain K? Um, What's on tap this summer? Nothing really. He's the yeah. silent partner. Yeah. <laughs> that's all we got for you guys. Have a great Bye. day. Congratulations. <laughs>